The moment has finally come. As you can tell from the title and sa hawak ko, today we are finally trying out flower nose makeup. Also, just a quick heads up, wala nga pala akong base product sa mga products na meron ako. And ililink ko na lang sa description box yung mga product na ginamit ko for my base. Dito tayo mag-start sa cream blushes and I have two of them. This one is from the Little Angel Collection and cream blush lang yung name ng product. And guys, just look at the packaging. Oh my god. Literally a work of art. Even yung product inside actually nakakahinayang gamitin kasi ang ganda ng embossed design. Look at that, diba? What the F? These are stunning. Anyway, this one is Flaming Heart and this one is Floral Praise. Ay, gawin siya Okay, this feels very creamy and emollient. This is a nice shade. It doesn't have any weird or funky scent. This one is Flaming Heart and this one is Floral Praise. This one actually reminds me of that popular Dior powder blush. I'm gonna be using the shade Flaming Heart kasi this is my kind of color. And i-apply ko siya using a brush. And yan, konti lang muna. And let's see. Actually, brighter siya kapag nasa cheeks na, but still nice. Not as bright as the other one. You know what? I like this. Ang ganda ng color. Blends really, really nice. Maganda yung formula niya. Even though creamy and emollient, hindi na di-disrupt yung base ko sa ilalim. You know, it's very easy to blend. And yung color niya, ang ganda guys, kasi very natural flush lang. And again, since nga very emollient or creamy yung kanyang formula, talagang meron kang time to blend the product. I mean, you know, hindi siya yung klase ng blush na kapag ka in-stamp mo, nandoon na lang siya and hindi na mag-move. Pigmentation is really nice as well. Talagang nakikita nyo yung kulay and very buildable siya. Lakas makapiliti ng shade. The only sad part lang talaga dito sa product is that after one use, ayan, medyo pawala na yung design. Also, medyo thick nga pala yung consistency niya. So, if you have oily skin, you really have to set this with a powder. Like me, I have oily skin, so isaset ko talaga to ng powder. But if you have normal or dry skin, you don't have to worry. Maganda yung dewiness na binibigay ng blush kasi it doesn't look oily or greasy. Very skin-like kasi yung finish. So very, you know, natural yung effect. So yeah, for me, for first impressions, I like this. Colors, of course, it's up to you na kung ano yung preference nyo. But personally, I like this one better. And here we have it. This is how the blush looks like close up. Ito yung next product na susubukan natin. This one is from the Chocolate Series and ito yung kanilang Face Contour and Highlight Palette. And this one as well, ang ganda ng packaging, di ba? Para siyang chocolate bar. And here we have it. This is how it looks like once you open it. We have two highlighters. Yung isa merong shimmer and yung isa matte. And dalawang contour shades and both of them are mattes. Oh, this is very soft and wow. Look at the shine. Very buttery yung mattes. Look, contour shades. Honestly, nakakahinayang talagang i-swatch kasi... Yung design. Also forgot to mention guys, amoy chocolate yung powders. It smells like a chocolate drink. Ganong vibe. Parang Milo, ganon. Oh, this highlighter is nice. Again, two highlighters, isang matte, isang shimmer, and two contour shades. And I think obvious naman sa swatches, guys. Mag-work lang siya sa fair skin. So that is a downside kasi hindi ko sure kung meron silang mga shade na you know, mag-work for deeper skin tone. I'm gonna use this one to contour my nose. Medyo ma-fall out kasi pina yung powder and maraming napipick up sa brush. So, make sure to top off the excess. And ito siya guys, kapag ka-binlend. And as you can see, maganda yung color niya. Namimimic talaga yung shadow. Cool tone kasi yung pagka-brown or taupe niya. So, it's really nice for contouring. It's also very blendable. So, plus point siya. Very natural and subtle. So, if that is your vibe, baka magustuhan niyo siya. But in my case, um mamaya ko na sasabihin yung thoughts ko kapag natapos natin gamitin tong palette. Ito naman i-try natin yung matte highlight using a small under eye brush. Try natin kung maganda siya pang under eye. This one very minimal yung fallout. And wait, akat na ilong ko. Let's see. Ooh, very brightening right off the bat. Nakaka brighten siya ng under eye. I know, I think ito naman yung difference ng merong powder sa wala. Not naman super duper brightening, parang stark white ganun, but it definitely amps up the color. Just gonna apply it on the other side. Also a little bit here, yung ginamit kong kulay sa nose. And of course, on the other side. And also a little bit sa chin area. And this is how my face looks like after using the face palette. Texture and formula of this product, I don't have anything bad or negative to say. Because number one, yung powder nitong product, finely milled, pinong-pino talaga siya, and soft. Second, it is very easy to blend. However, even though nagustuhan ko yung formula ng product and how it applies sa skin, Yung color selection, to be honest, hindi ako big fan. This, in my opinion, and like I've said kanina, perfect lang siya for fair skin. But if you have deeper complexion or darker kayo sa akin, these two contours for sure hindi mag-work. This one, yes, magagamit ko. Even yung highlighters, pwede sa akin. But the thing is, sayang pa rin, di ba? Kasi 
meron kang shade na hindi magagamit dito. So, parang hindi siya great value for money, at least for me. Face palettes like this is great lang if you're a working makeup artist kasi pwede mo siyang gamitin sa iba-ibang client, iba-ibang skin tone. But uh, for personal use, again, hindi nyo masusulit kasi nga, hindi nyo magagamit lahat ng kulay na meron. For the eyes, yes, pwede nyo gamitin. But overall, honestly, not the most practical product to buy. Again, not a bad product. Maganda yung texture and formula. It's just that it is not the kind of product for me. If you wanna try the product, Go ahead, push. Subukan nyo, bilhin nyo. But ako personally, if I'm gonna spend my money, kung blush palette, bibilhin ko siya. But again, face palettes like this, not the most practical. So, ayun. Ayoko na. Paulit-ulit na ako. <laughs> Period. Charot. More powder blush to try. And this time, powder blush naman. This one is from the Strawberry Row Coco Collection. And ito yung kanilang powder blush from that line. Super pretty packaging for this one as well. And the inside, grabe. It's absolutely stunning. Both of these are not my colors, to be honest. But I'm still willing to try. Kasi gusto kong malaman kung okay ba yung formula niya and how it performs, how it blends. Same with the previous products na so silbukan natin, guys. Maganda yung formula, in fairness, sa kanila. Very soft and finely milled. And ito yung swatches. First one is Little Cranberry. And this one is Romantic Blossom. Hindi ko alam kung gagamitin ko. Purple yung eyeshadow natin. So I think I'm gonna be using Little Cranberry kasi cool toned. So yun. Wala akong choice. Charot. Tanggalin ko lang yung plastic. Ang dami nga pipi! So make sure to top off, dapat light-handed. Anyway, ayan. Lagay natin siya sa highest point ng cheek. Honestly, the color is not bad. <laughs> Medyo okay lang ako kanina siguro. Ooh, napadami weight. Yeah, okay na yung kulay niya. I mean, again, still not my kind of color, but it's not bad. Too bright for my liking lang. Kasi alam niyo naman ako, guys, pagdating sa color ng blushes, I like yung mga peachy pink, ganun. Yung very, ano lang, sweet. Babae ka lang, mahinhin. Whenever I see colors like this, talagang, you know, Na-intimidate ako. And hindi ko kasi makontrol yung kamay ko. Like this one, for example, as you can see, napadami yung lagay ko. Unlike with, again, yung mga very natural flush, di ba? Kahit maparami, parang okay pa rin. I'm just gonna blend this using a brush na ginamit ko for my powder foundation. But without any product, ha? And yan, as you can see, di ba? Naayos ka agad. It was able to soften the color. Color lang talaga. I wish muted yung color na meron ako, but, you know, it is what it is. It is what is it. Charot. This is the blush. Cute siya in fair. I like the formula. It's pigmented and very blendable. Yung color lang talaga, guys. Not my preference. So I think what I'm gonna do is bibili ako ng shade na gusto ko talaga para thoroughly ma-review ko siya and talagang ma-test fully. Ito yung gagamitin ko for the this one is also from the Strawberry Row Coco series and ito yung kanilang 5 color eyeshadow. Packaging looks like this. Super pretty. Comes with a mirror by the way and I am obsessed with the color selection. Star Moon Strawberry yung name ng palette. Swatch natin. Pinong pino yung mattes. Wow, wow, wow. Medyo gritty yung shimmers kasi merong flex of glitter, so understandable. Nice, kasi kung ano yung color sa pan, ganun din siya kapag kasi watch. I'm gonna use this for my transition. And I'm just going to apply this all over the lid as a wash of color. Very subtle light purple, but nagsushow up siya, so that's good. Medyo may kickback nga pala yung mattes kasi nga pinong pino, so you just have to make sure na meron kayong powders sa under eye or kaya mag-start kayo sa eyes before foundation if you don't want any, you know, issues. But so far, okay naman siya sa akin. Next shade is this one. And same kanina, ilalagay ko lang siya all over my lid, but this time, lower than the first color. Pigment is not comparable sa mga Juvia's Place, Natasha Denona, ganun. But still, pigmented pa din siya, and especially if you have a base with this one, Mas magpapap yung kulay niya, for sure. And of course, yung pinaka-importante, guys, hindi siya patchy. Next color I'm using is this. And ang gawin natin is, i-stamp lang muna natin siya sa outer. Tapos, i-blend natin ng konti. As you can see, oh, purple siya, pero hindi patchy, di ba? Purples are, like, very notorious when it comes to being patchy. But this one, okay siya. And when it comes to blending, guys, circular motion, eh? para talagang diffuse. And syempre, it's up to you na how intense you want it. So, i-build up nyo na lang sa preference nyo. Iniisip ko kung lalagyan ko sa inner corner kasi parang gusto ko ng halo, but ano ba? Sige na nga. So, lagay din natin siya dito sa inner part. And again, circular motion when it comes to blending. I wanna do something dreamy and ethereal kasi sa eyes. So, purple tapos shimmer and glitters. So, yeah, let's see where this goes. Itong purple shimmer yung subukan natin next. Using my finger, wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Like I said kanina, using my finger, i-apply ko lang siya all over my lid. That is a shimmer. That is so pretty. 
Wow, so so good. Ang ganda. Try din natin to. And inalagi ko siya sa pinaka center kasi may flex of glitter siya. Ooh, this is nice. De ba ang perfect? If you're gonna buy a palette from Flower Nose, wag yung face palette. Ay shadow palette yung kunin yung kasi. Ang ganda. Sobrang reflective ng shimmer. And take note guys, ha? Dry application pa to. For the under eye, I think I'm gonna go with a very Duyen inspired, you know, Kineso. Duyen inspired eye. Actually, hindi siya bagay sa akin, but, you know, whatever. And mag tayo sa matte colors. This one I'm using is yung pinang all over the lid natin. And what I'm doing is nilalagay ko lang siya ng dito sa socket ng eye ko. I'm not sure kung ano yung tawag sa kanya. What the hell? Ito yung ginamit ko, guys. This time, dito tayo sa purple. Tapos, gagawin ko lang siyang parang shadow on top. Just so merong dimension. And hindi flat na isang kulay lang. Using a small brush. Medyo babasain ko siya, actually. Wait. Kukunin ko tong pink color na ginamit nating topper. And then, ilalagay ko siya dito sa area na walang eye shadow. Ayan. Itatap ko lang. And also, sa inner part. Actually, medyo takot akong gumawa ng Duyen makeup kasi feeling ko hindi bagay sa akin and I just don't know the techniques. At sa ibang tao, super love na love ko yung itsura ng Duyen. And if you want me to do like an affordable version of this look, you know, not exactly the color na gamit ko but Duyen inspired or just, you know, an affordable makeup look, just let me know. Actually, you know what, same color, yung pink shimmer, naging natin sa inner. Ayan. Again, specs siya, kaya mas may texture and mas prominent talaga, especially kapag natatamaan ng ilaw. Gusto ko tuloy bumili pa ng ibang eyeshadow from them. <laughs> Tanggalin ko lang yung mga fallouts. Flower Nose Liquid Eyeliner meron nga din pala ako. This one is from the Moonlight Mermaid Collection and Black Eyeliner lang siya. Pen tip. Ayan, hopefully you guys can see. And bago ko sabihin yung thoughts ko, mag eyeliner muna ako. And here is the with and without eyeliner. This one actually nagamit ko na, so hindi siya first impressions. And then guys, as you can see, smudge proof siya. It is also waterproof, so once na magset siya, hindi na siya nagmumove. It is also very easy to apply kasi brush tip siya, so hindi siya nagtatag and pinong pino yung tip, so talagang sobrang precise and sharp. But for those of you na meron ng trusted and go-to liquid liners, you don't need to get your hands on this na, kasi there's nothing special about the product really. Performance and formula of this one is just the same with other liners na tried and tested na, but again, if you love the brand, you want to collect everything, then go ahead, get your hands on this. Super duper nice product, but ako personally, since I have like 10 or more than 10 liquid liners. This is not a product na ipaprioritize ko if bibili ako ng product from Flower Nose. But again, quality-wise, super nice. So kung wala na kayong eyeliner, ubus na, itryin nyo to. Here we have it. Eye makeup is complete. This eyeshadow palette, I don't like. I love. Very comparable sa Romant eyeshadow yung formula and texture ng mga eyeshadow dito. Hindi lang siya cute, hindi lang novelty item. Talagang nagpa-perform yung eyeshadows dito. This is nice and bibili pa ako ng iba. Meron din pala ako nito guys, liquid eyeshadow. This one is from the Swan Ballet series and this is how the product looks like. Super pretty ng packaging. This is the applicator. Chrome yung kulay niya guys. Super duper nice. Ayan, very reflective and nag iba, -iba yung color kada move. I wanna put it here, parang liner. See that, di ba? Mas nag-pop yung kulay. Okay to ha, hindi messing gamitin. And since fine yung kanyang tip, pwede nyo siyang gamitin liner. Sa center ng lid, maglagay din tayo. This is nice. Another must-try product from them. Ganun effect, di ba? I like this. Ito naman yung highlighter natin. Ito naman is from the Little Angel Collection and yung tawag dito is the Embossed Highlighter. And this packaging, oh my god, probably my favorite. Sobrang ganda, di ba? And the inside, wow. Work of art. Shade I have is 01, by the way, and I think this one is called Eros's Fable. Sa side lang tayo mag-swatch. Frosty yung color niya. And it is very... Oh, wala siyang base. More of a glitter. Parang tiny specks of glitter na klase ng highlight. So, I'm gonna use a pan brush. So, eto siya guys kapag ka apply Wala siyang base. So, specks of glitter lang talaga siya. Kaya ayan, kapag ka nakaharap, diba? As you can see, wala siyang color underneath. It's nice. I'm not a big highlighter user since I have textured skin. But this one I like. Because again, wala nga siyang base. So, it doesn't look like chalky kapag ka nakalagay sa cheek. But I think this one, more of a topper sa eye ko siyang gagamitin in the future. Actually, para makita natin, guys, sa inner corner, ilagay natin siya. See? Yup, more of an eye product ko siyang gagamitin. It's nice, though. Again, ito yung highlighter. It's nice. Meron tayong bullet lipstick, lip cream, we have one, and we have two lip glosses. And subukan natin lahat. 
And dito tayo mag-start sa lip gloss. I have two shades and this one is from the Strawberry Rococo series and yung tawag dito is the Glowy Lip Gloss. And just look at the packaging. Wow. Definitely display worthy. Let's start with this. Strawberry Macaron. Mm, it's a bright color. Amoy candy. Gummy bears. Ganun. This one is on the thick side but still very comfortable on the lips. And since nga thick yung consistency, hindi siya mabilis mag-move, hindi siya gloopy. In fairness, thick but comfy. Very moisturizing. Although this one, I think, atong shade na to better siya if meron kayong lip liner or kaya base lipstick underneath. This one is shade number two. And this one is called Raspberry Booze. Oh, this one is better. Mas gusto ko yung kulay na to. Ganda! Diba? Ang perfect ng kulay. Applicator nga pala super nice kasi soft siya or bendable. So, talagang nakukuha niya yung shape ng lips. It's easy to maneuver. This is good. Again, 02 Raspberry Booze. This one is Strawberry Macaron. And this one is Raspberry Booze. Maganda yung formula niya. Very hydrating, moisturizing, a bit thick, but comfortable pa din sa lips. Ito namang lip cream yung subukan natin. It's also from the Strawberry Rococo Collection. And this one is called the... Cloud Lip Lip Cream. And this is the packaging. Same lang sa una but blue. Smells like a sugary candy. This one is in the shade SO3. Ito siya guys. Actually perfectly named Cloud Lip kasi velvety siya. See that? If you love doing mga ombre lips, bitten lips, ganun, yung mga diffuse, eto yung formula na perfect. Maganda yung formula niya. Reminds me of the Issy, Issy's Lip Velvet. So if you love this, for sure magugustuhan nyo itong sa flower nose. Maganda yung formula and finish. Hindi lang match yung color niya sa eye makeup ko today. Final lip product na susubukan natin is a bullet lipstick. This one is from the Swan Ballet series and yung tawag sa actual product is the Shine Lipstick. And guys, look at the packaging. It's so coquette. I only have one shade and this one is is this one is B03 and mukhang maganda yung kulay. I mean, look at that. This is like yung mga melty type of lipstick, gloss, balm. Kaya pala ganito yung packaging kasi nagme-melt yung formula niya. So you have to twist it very, very light lang. Tapos, best way to apply this honestly is to dab. Wow, this is nice. Ang ganda. Tapos may candy din siya. Consistent sa scent. Para pareho lang. This is nice. If familiar kayo sa Roman Glasting Balm, kinda like that. So plump and juicy. This is my kind of formula. So instant love. Look at the finish. Diba? Sobrang plump and juicy. Pigment is really nice as well. As you can see, talagang may kulay siya. Unlike the gloss, this one must be pigment. This is the finished look. Super duper happy with how my makeup turned out. It's just so pretty, diba? Ang sweet girl. Ang fun. I had super fun trying these products. And to be honest, parang dalawa lang yung hindi ko mairi-recommend dito. At yung first ko hindi mairi-recommend, guys, yung face palette. Because again, hindi nga lahat ng shade dito magagalit nyo. And sakto lang yung performance niya. And yung colors, medyo lacking. Not a bad product. It's just that hindi siya practical because hindi lahat ng shades dito magagalit nyo. But for those of you na tumatanggap ng makeup clients, probably pwede to kasi magagamit nyo yung mga shades. Second is itong liquid eyeliner. Again, maganda siya. Performs really, really well. Smudge proof, transfer proof, super duper black ng color. But kung meron na kayong holy gray liquid eyeliner, meron na kayong tried and tested, I don't think you need to try this one na. But if yung goal nyo is to collect flower nose, everything, then go ahead, push. Maganda to. Ayun lang. Ayun lang yung hindi ko na-trim at sa mga ginamit natin. This one, even though hindi ako mahilig gumamit ng highlighters, na-enjoy ko siya kasi maganda yung finish. Powder blushes, yung colors lang ang hindi ko gusto. So, mabilis naman gawa ng paraan. But yung formula, blendability, and pigment, pasado sa akin, maganda. Itong mga lip products, I am super impressed. But for me personally, yung pinaka-favorite ko is itong Shine Lipstick. I also love this liquid eyeshadow kasi sobrang sparkly and glittery niya. Fine yung applicator niya. Perfect to for precise. Kung gusto yung gumawa ng line, pwedeng-pwede. And since liquid yung formula niya, hindi messing gamitin. So, hindi siya kumakalat sa mata. Cream blushes, I also like kasi very emollient, easy to apply, and buildable yung pigmentation. So, hindi siya nakakatakot gamitin. But again, if you have oily skin, this one you have to set kasi nga dewy yung finish niya. And finally, itong eyeshadow, guys. For me, sa lahat ng sinubukan natin today, sa lahat ng flower nose, I think ito yung the one na kailangan yung masubukan from the brand kasi maganda yung formula and yung color story nila super duper impressive. Lahat ng shadows na meron dito guys are pigmented, easy to blend, very minimal fallout and ayun nga, like I've said kanina, if you love yung mga Roman eyeshadows, 
formula of this very comparable doon. Honestly, at first, medyo skeptical ako dito sa flower nose because akala ko maganda lang yung packaging but the performance is not good. Pero ngayong nasubukan ko na, I think I'm gonna collect this brand na, especially yung eyeshadows. Sobrang na-enjoy ko. So yeah, basically, to make it short, these are not just like, you know, pang display, cute item, novel. Hindi lang sila sa packaging nag-effort. Quality of the product itself is really, really good. Anyway, that is it for today's video, guys. Super nag-enjoy ako i-film to. So, ayun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!